Good day, YouTubers. Time for a spot of royalty. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. As always, all readings are for entertainment only. This is a psychic and intuitive reading and may involve speculation. Find the book worldwide on Amazon in Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Okay, this is Harry cleaned up after his polo match in Italy. And he apparently he brought his beloved horse with him to this crazy polo match. And this guy is called Nacho Figuera. And this is his wife, Delphine Blacar. Uh, they are, she is obviously like some kind of a world famous model or something. Very beautiful. He's, <clears throat> he's just got wealth and privilege written all over him. And there's Harry. Uh, she's kind of leaning into him. Actually, she's leaning into him. Look at her arm. She's leaning into Harry. So she's letting Harry know that she likes him. Uh, and so my first thought when I saw that he was at a polo match uh, in Italy, in Roma, and he brought his horse. Okay, remember when he announced Archie? He did it in front of the horses. That's probably the horse that he brought with him. He flew his horse out. Okay, so a horse represents uh, power, strength, freedom, male virility. And Harry doing this, so my first thought is, uh, so number one, is, isn't that symbolic that he, he announced Archie right in front of that horse and now he's running, jet setting off all around the world. Uh, two, Harry's out everywhere. Okay, we're seeing Harry on his own everywhere. We saw him at the London Marathon, being Harry, looking fantastic. We saw him at Lady Gabriella Windsor's wedding at the same spot the day before uh, his one-year anniversary to Meghan Markle at the same place. He was looking fantastic. Uh, the one-year anniversary, there's no news of a celebration. Meghan seems to be in hiding. And now he's jet-setting off to a polo match in Italy. Um, is he spending any time with Archie? What's going on? I mean, what's going on? Okay, so, and this, and the media, I saw an interview where the media is grilling Nacho on this. And by the way, anybody named Nacho, I want to, I want to have a beer with that guy. Okay, so, because <clears throat> he's going to be a lot of fun. So Nacho was defending Harry. You know, why is Harry out here in Italy uh, playing this polo match? And it's, it's a benefit for HIV in Africa. Uh, but that's, that's what these wealthy people do. They go and do fun things like fly to Italy with their horse and play uh, polo and call it charity. Okay, so, and so he was defending Harry as just a great guy. And I think Nacho might actually be someone that Megan said, I don't want you hanging out with that guy. Okay, so new dad, Prince Harry, is all smiles. He as he takes part in a charity polo match in Rome. New dad Prince Harry shows no signs of suffering sleepless nights as he celebrated his team's win at a polo club, polo club in Rome. Okay. All right. The, okay, the Duke of Sussex, 36, was in the Italian capital Roma to take part in the Centebale ISPS Handa Polo Cup charity match. Harry gave pal Nacho Figuera a warm embrace before posing for photographs with him and his glamorous wife, Delfina Blacar. The prince looked sharp in a crisp, crisp okay. Uh, later in the day, he was seen posing with the trophy alongside his teammates before accepting a prize from a Megan lookalike. Harry's looking great. Uh, he's a very manly man. And this is why people love Harry, okay? Before I looked at the photos and uh, and looked at what they were doing. They're wearing knee pads. He's a big manly man. I love it. He's an alpha, okay? We live in a world of soy boys and beta males. And this is why, 
This is why people love Harry, because he's a man, okay? He's just, he acts like a man, he's a man. So the thing that uh, I wanted to look at, you know, Harry's just jet-setting all over the world, being Harry and loving life, and Megan is just hiding out, and we're just not seeing anything from Megan, and we're seeing Harry everywhere looking like the old Harry and looking very happy and just having a great time, and are they separated? Are Harry and Meghan separated? Okay, and the women are sidling up to him and pressing themselves against him again. Uh, it's, you know, it's looking a little strange for a married man. So are Harry and Meghan... Okay, strength fell out. Are Harry and Meghan separated? What's going on? Because there's talk that they're separated. Harry... Megan. Oh my. Okay. All right. So are Harry and Megan separated? This is Harry and this is Megan. This is the outcome, and strength fell out. So Harry, red-haired fox. Fox is also very single. Fox is the feminine version of player. Player and fox are like brother and sister. No can be full stop. Twelve and nine. Twenty-one. Six hearts. Karmic relationship. Full stop to the relationship, and now Harry's single, and there's been a big change. This could say that Harry has been a, is single now and there's a huge change in the relationship. Big change. Strength here can be a baby. Jax can be children. What's going on with Megan? Ruler, Mercury, Butterfly. Butterfly is transformation in a new life. Mercury is a short travel card. Ruler, the boss... 13 and 9, 22, 6 diamonds, hand in hand, many people. She's taking control of her life, talking to many people, communicating with many people, and trying to start a new life. Hmm. Outcome. Executioner and heart. 14. Okay, 4 diamonds. Okay, let's see, 1425, that can be 25. This is the, this is an extra. So that's four diamonds. Okay, executioner. Uh, we just saw Megan get the executioner. She cuts people out of her life and ghosts people, cutting, cutting the relationship and the foundation. They may be. They may be fully separated. They may be fully separated. He is looking tentatively single. Uh, it does look like the relationship is on full stop for Harry. She is talking to... Uh, this can be, she can be talking to the king and about a new life, talking to the crown about a new life, cutting everything. Hmm. Let's ask another way. Where are they living? Are they living at Frogmore? Buckingham Palace or separated? Frogmore, Buckingham Palace or separated? Frogmore, Buckingham Palace, separated.
get some questions. So Frogmore, two diamonds and cross and cup overflowing, two very emotional, permanent marriage, uh, joined in the permanent marriage very emotionally, 19, five clubs, two or more options. <clears throat> Buckingham Palace, they're supposed to, I'm sorry, is it Buckingham? They're given a spot, yeah, I think it's in Buckingham. They're given some rooms in Buckingham. Uh, man, scapegoat, finger of God. Scapegoat is cast out. The man is cast out. And by an outside force, 15, 28, seven spades, secretly cast out by an outside force. Se or separated. Uh, incubus, succubus, hamster wheel, crossroads. 11 and 10, six, six hearts. Okay, bad relationship, long-term travel or overseas trip, and decisions. Okay, so there's talk that Megan wants to go to L.A. Because of the bad relationship, she wants to flee and go to L.A. She fled to the Clooney Mansion, okay, and it's isolating herself. Okay, here, Frogmore, because they're saying that no one's living at Frogmore. Okay, and so this is their home. This is their marriage home, is Frogmore. They're supposed to live here together in marriage, uh, but it just got too emotional, 19, and so they're making another decision, five clubs. They, uh, and they can be splitting up, five clubs, two or more. Okay, Buckingham Palace, man scapegoat. The man is outside, 15 to 28, seven. Seven's return forever. Uh, something has been imposed. Harry is outside. Harry is outside, separated, outside, cast out, uh, secretly cast out. Hmm. And are they separated? Bad relationship, bad long-term relationship, travel overseas at the crossroads. So Megan wants to leave. Megan wants to go to California and take Archie with her. Because it really doesn't appear that uh, Harry is interacting with Archie at all. He's just jet-setting all over the place. He does, they don't seem to be living together. Uh, they don't seem to be living together. Is this guy Nacho? Okay, is he... I heard that Nacho is somebody that Megan doesn't want Harry to see. Is this an act of rebellion for Harry to see, to hang out with Nacho. I think they're just, they're both showing Harry a lot of support, okay? Because I saw an interview with Nacho, she's leaning into him, you know, letting him know that she really likes him and is supporting him. It's very nice. I mean, his friends are supporting him. These are his friends. And so he's going to be with his friends. Uh, is Nacho on the banned list? Did, did, is this an act of rebellion for Harry to go see Nacho? Five spades, five and five. Reacting to the blockage, player, uh, party boy, and step by step, player, home. Okay, close friends. He's been, Nacho's been Harry's friend for a really long time. They've traveled this road together for a long time, but he's showing as a player and blocked. Uh, yeah, I think, I think Megan did not want him 
did not want Harry hanging out with Nacho, but she may be trying to isolate him from all of his, all of his friends. And Harry is acting like a kid who's just been let out of school for the summer, and he's just running around having a great time. And you know, Archie should be in the house, but he's not in the house. He doesn't seem to be in the house. So, uh, you know, as a player. Player can be, you know, just a party guy. Uh, you know, he's he's Harry's party friend, and Harry's rebelling rebelling by seeing Nacho. Is Harry uh, now drawing closer to William and taking William's advice, William and Kate's advice? Okay, because I saw him in previous readings uh, thinking very carefully about the future. Is Harry drawing closer to William? Or, or uh, Kate? Okay, so messages talking and messages with the woman in the Mother Earth. This looks like maybe the Queen. Talking in messages about the woman, four spades. Four and twelve, sixteen, four spades, structure, ending the structure. Messages and talking with the woman. This is probably the queen. About Megan, ending the relationship with Megan. Talking and messages with the woman. So it's either Kate or the queen that Harry is now taking advice from. About ending the relationship with Megan. This is beginning to look like it's beginning to look like Harry and Megan may be separating. Uh, it's beginning to look like Megan, uh, you know, she's talking about going to LA and she wants to teach Archie about uh, his heritage. The kid is two, two weeks old. Okay. He's not potty trained. Uh, he hasn't uh, started sleeping through the night. He doesn't know his ABCs. He doesn't know he's British. He doesn't know he's American. What are you going to teach this kid? Okay, it's ridiculous. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> let's let's review. The first thing I wanted to know is are are Harry and Meghan separated? Okay, this is this is Harry. This is Meghan. Okay. Full stop for the red-haired fox and a big change. Everything that was going on before in the relationship has just completely stopped. There's been an abrupt stop and a huge change. I think they're separated. Okay, what's going on with Megan? Megan seems to be talking to lawyers about her new life. And she's just cutting him out. It's, she's cutting. And here's Archie. Okay, uh, she's making strong moves. 24, 25, seven hearts. She wants, yeah, she's, I think she's moving. She's talking with lawyers. And this seems like she's either talking to the crown or lawyers. This can be a lawyer acting in her best interest. Or this can be Megan making the cut. Because Megan fled <clears throat> to the Clooney mansion. Megan made the cut. Megan ran off to the Clooney mansion, okay, to isolate herself. And we haven't seen her since. And we're seeing Harry everywhere. And that's probably a good move for Harry. Okay, because if Megan is in possession of Archie, we should see Megan out and about everywhere with Archie, creating a news stream of, oh, look at adorable Archie and Megan. Uh, that's what we should be seeing. But Harry is out everywhere having a wonderful time being Harry. Okay, so Harry's winning this battle again. Megan doesn't seem to... She's not... She's doing very poorly with the public battle. Okay, are they at Frogmore together? This is their permanent home, and it's just a constant battle. Everybody was quitting at Frogmore. All, everybody's quitting. Like, four people quit. The pilot quit. The security quit. All the assistants quit. It's just this constant... Uh, place of emotional turmoil, the the marriage home, 
Okay, and so they made a, they may have split five clubs. They may have split. Okay, are they at, are they at Buckingham Palace? Some rooms there at, at the palace. Uh, the man is separated, and it's by the finger of God. Okay, someone said, Harry, you're staying here alone. So Harry may be staying at the palace alone, at the Buckingham Palace alone, or could be Kensington. I think it's Buckingham. So this is 15. Secretly, the man is cast out, staying alone. And it's like he's told to do this. Okay, don't, don't be staying with Megan. Uh, are they separated? Bad relationship? Long-term bad relationship or, or overseas trip and making new decisions for the relationship? Uh, and this looks like Megan wanting to escape to L.A. and get her old life back. Okay, uh, was Harry forbidden from seeing Nacho? Nacho's a player, he's a party guy, he's uh, new money, young man, new money, that's the player. Uh, but they, Harry's had a long association, and you can really tell, she's really loving Harry, he's really loving Harry, and I saw an interview, they're both really loving Harry. He's there for support. This is his good buddy Nacho and his wife, and they just, they're loving Harry. Harry needs this support. So they're just close friends. He's been friends with them for a long time. And he wanted to see them because of the problems. So I think he's on the band list. And here's Harry hanging out with him. And that's exactly who he should be hanging out with. Harry's saying, I'm my own person. You don't tell me what to do. And he's going to draw close to his friends. Is Harry getting close with Will and Kate? It's all feminine energy here. I think this is the queen or this is Kate. A woman is counseling him about this ending. I think it's the queen. It could be Kate, but I think it's the queen. Okay, about ending with uh, Megan. This is really looking to me, okay, this is really looking to me like Megan is talking to lawyers and planning her exit. And Harry is showing up everywhere and acting like a single man, and he's, he's just... He's now separated from Megan because of the bad relationship and a huge change has occurred. A huge change has occurred. This is a single card. This is him being cast out and someone told him this may be Megan talking to a lawyer. Um, I, I really think they may be talking about... Uh, separation and divorce, okay? And and right now, uh, Megan's friends are, are flying in. Uh, Jessica Mulroney, she's talking about, uh, okay, the, uh, the tennis star, Serena Williams. So Serena Williams, Jessica Mulroney, they're flying in. So uh, Megan's gathering her confidants around her, the people from the New York baby shower, okay, these folks, and she's staying at the Clooney house, and Amal Clooney is a lawyer, probably advising her. Okay, so this is probably talking to the lawyer, 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 about her new life, and baby Archie, and setting herself up, doing what's best for Megan, heart, in the foundation. Yeah. This really looks to me like... They may be, they're thinking, of, they're, they're, they look separated to me, and it looks like they're talking about maybe divorcing. They're talking about divorce. And that may be, as they say, in the cards in the very near future. So, single Harry is back, and he's running, he's flying his horse around. And the horse is all about freedom and strength and power and male virility. And it's very interesting that Harry took a picture in front of the horse when he announced Archie. It was all in front of the horse, and I thought, that's odd. Why is there a horse behind him? Power, strength, male virility, uh, freedom, running, horsing around, having a lot of fun. He's having fun with his buddy Nacho. Okay, and they're loving him. They're loving him. And, and you know, I was looking at the pictures I love seeing Harry like this. And this is why the world loves Harry, because Harry's a man's man. It's great. More so than William. 
William is a much quieter man. is not as manly as, as Harry. And that's why people love Harry so much. That's your royalty today, and that's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.